everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I will be doing another water uh, marble nail art uh, brought to you by uh, the Sally Hansen Extreme uh, Nail Polishes. And this will be my third one, like I said, but I have gotten a lot of requests to do this one for the second time. So I thought I might as well go ahead and do it. I uh, will be using uh, bold colors, bright colors, because, you know, spring is around the corner. So we go ahead and get this started. So today I will be using uh, yellow, orange, green, blue, and white. And I will put the description of the, the types of nail polishes below. And what you will need is a stick. You'll need your water. And you will need a tissue or to clean up after. So let's go ahead and get started. As you know, I go ahead and start out with using white. It's my base. These colors are really bright and they're very vibrant, very, very pretty too. So these will work very, very nicely. And I really and truly love the Sally Hansen uh, Stream nail polishes because they tend to go on very smoothly and I can do these um, water marbling nail tutorials without any problems. I notice there are a lot of nail polishes out there that tend to stick or they won't create the bullseye that I'm looking for. So I definitely love the Sally Hansen. And what I'm doing is just giving a few more rings here. You can use any color that you wish as long as this you're using the same um, label, whether it's um, China Glaze or like I said, this Sally Hansen is, is a really good one too. And I really enjoy the, like the way that it spreads too, as you can see. And give it a couple of more rings. And if the rings are not spreading, you can go ahead and give it a little shake as well. And that'll definitely help it along the way. And I'm almost done here. Give it a little shake. And to spread out those rings. But the white color seems to do its job. It'll spread it out and then it'll retract it back in. I'll go ahead and do one more color. Okay. Now once you have achieved your bullseye, you can go ahead and make your design. This is the time where you'll be using your tissue to um, wipe off that excess of um, nail polish. And I'm almost done with this. And once you're complete with the petals that you desire, it's easy clean up in the middle. So I know it looks kind of blotchy right now, but what you do is you stake the toothpick in the middle and it'll draw it in and make it a little more nice and clean look, as you can see. Okay. Now that I got my design, well, let me do one more. So I got my desired petals that I'm looking for. I'm going to go ahead and dip my finger, which is already pre-taped. Bring that in a little bit more. You can see it. There we go. Get it focused. Okay, so my finger is already pre-taped and nail polish is white. And I use a white background because it makes the colors pop. And what I'll do is dip my finger in there. And then I'll do an easy cleanup with the toothpick. And let me find my design that I'm looking for. Now, once your finger is in the water, try not to disturb it. So go ahead and use your toothpick and go around it. Okay. It 
tends to get a little messy, but just try to work with it as much as you can. As you can see, I am not disturbing the art that I created that's, that's attached to the finger, the nail polish. So just working around that. Do one more. Okay. And then bring it out slowly. And there's the water nail art, as you can see. Very nice, and it turned out really pretty. See, the colors definitely pop behind a white background. Okay. If you like this nail tutorial, go ahead and leave me a comment below. And go ahead and subscribe as well. And I definitely thank you for watching. Bye.